Hi, I'm Jeff Murrow. I want to welcome you to True Texas History, where today, January the 26th, we are celebrating Marabou B. Lamar Day. Yeah, happy Marabou B. Lamar Day. Now, you may wonder, why is this considered Marabou B. Lamar Day? Uh, I mean, it's not his birthday. Good question. Um... This day, uh, January 26, is set aside because on January 26, 1839, uh, the Republic of Texas Congress passed uh, legislation that would allow the, uh, it sets aside land for education. In every county, a certain amount of land was set aside uh, for the sole purpose of public education. Marabou, Lee, uh, Marabou Lamar uh, was a visionary in the sense that he knew that uh, a well-educated mind was necessary for the protection of uh, the young republic and any nation. Now, I like Marabou Lamar. I, mean, I know a lot of people don't. Um, you know, Marabou Lamar was basically opposed to just about everything that uh, Sam Houston was for. Now, Marabou Lamar took office uh, on uh, December the 10th, 1838. So for him to have this uh, piece of legislation passed uh, in January of 1839, it was one of the uh, early pieces of legislation that he saw as important. See, Lamar believed that Texas should have a strong army and a strong navy. You know, he made the quote that uh, a well-regulated militia is the strongest and surest bulwark of liberty. And he not only uh, quoted that, which is uh, from the U.S. Second Amendment, he believed it. And uh, Lamar uh, after making speeches with this type of policy, uh, was backed up uh, by Congress, um, which went ahead and believed his optimism and uh, passed legislation to increase the funding for the Army and the Navy of Texas. Whereas Sam Houston believed we needed uh, a small, if any, army and uh, also... Um, very little navy. Yeah, I mean, is it no wonder that there were raids from Mexico that came into Texas during the Houston administrations? No, no surprise there. Um, now, one of the reasons I suspect that uh, Lamar was able to take such bold measures is you had uh, something else going on in 1839. You had this Republic of Rio Grande uh, episode where some land uh, along uh, southern Texas, northern Mexico, they decided to create the Republic of Rio Grande. So the Mexican troops were uh, tied up with that rather than focusing their attention on Texas. So that was a good thing. Now, uh, with everything in the news uh, about uh, Texas these days, uh, I thought I would go ahead and deal with where did Lamar stand on the question of annexation? Um uh, and I know some of you want to, what is my source? Okay, my source, uh, we're going back to the Pennybacker uh, history here. Of course, Pennybacker is not very uh, fond of Lamar either. Uh, but he said, I cannot regard the annexation of Texas to the American Union in any other light than is the grave of all our hopes of happiness and greatness. Let's go ahead and reflect on the words of uh, Marabou B. Lamar as we celebrate this day. Uh, if you are one of those people that happen to benefit from public education, you need to salute Marabou B. Lamar uh, and uh, acknowledge uh, his foresight in seeing to it that you have a public education due to the foresight of this man. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Uh, 
And uh, if you have any comments, questions, feel free to leave them below. I'll be glad to get to them. And so until next time, uh, this is Jeff Murrah wishing you fire con Dios, my friends. Goodbye.